where do you feel this is a huge impact for young people? So for, I think we had this discussion when we first met and this is probably where I triggered and thought, right, let's have a podcast because we were talking about, as a, and you you experienced it when you were younger, talking about when you were in country footy, mm. you were a young lad going into a men's team, you were almost expendable in a, in a sense. Yeah. And I experienced that. Yeah. I was 14 years old when I played my first A grade, yeah. like first team men's game. And you are walking into a changing room. Men mm. are showering. Men are talking. Well, mm. These are guys in their mid, mid to late yeah. 20s, maybe 30s mm. that are talking about what they're up to on the weekend. Yeah. There's alcohol. There's drugs. There's, there's sex. There's sex, women. Yeah, everything. Yeah. There's ta- they're talking about everything mm. and uh, openly because it's, it is. It's, in their, in, but it's their place. It's locker room yeah, talk yeah. is the sense yeah, of what right. you, if you want to call it that. But that has... That that constructed in a certain way can be very yeah. detrimental yeah. to a, to a young person. Um, we we actually, funny enough, experienced that with a young lad in in our team this yeah. year or last year. Uh, he had a poor experience just with how open yeah. speaking one of the men was. So we had to kind of yeah. reprimand the man and speak to the young boy and say like that was a something. And it really opened mm. my eyes and resonated mm. with the conversation we had. Where do you think it has it has come from sort of the um not where it's come from but where it has been to where it's potentially going or where it could go or where you perhaps like to see it go um yeah so i guess the um the locker room has been kind of that safe space for a lot of guys in terms of what they what they think they can say um how they can say it pretty much say anything because you know it's often said that you know what 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 goes on in the locker room sort of stays in the locker room Mm. kind of thing Um, and that's not necessarily the case because, um, it, again, if I put my social constructionism hat on, if you've got young impressionable males in that locker room that gravitate towards that kind of ideology, then they're going to perpetuate the same sort of language and so forth. Now, the problem is, you know, it shouldn't be said in the, in the locker room, but, the, the bigger problem is if it's taken out of the locker room and it's said and those ideologies and so forth go beyond that locker room as well. Mm. So that that's a problem. So we have the opportunity um, within, within sporting environments to create spaces that we can actually change those sorts of attitudes and behaviours and, and talk as well mm. um, because, you know, Locker rooms, as you know, as we're saying, you know, have have men in their thirties, even forties, sometimes, right through to these young guys who are coming through in, in, in fourteen years of age, um, and what they hear from these older players who they revere, that can that can impact them in both positive and negative way. For me, it, and as I mentioned to you, it it impacted me in a negative way. Hmm. And I remember going and talking to my dad about it. I think it would have been about 15 or so. And I was, I was, I was there and they were all the guys sort of walking around naked for half an hour to an hour on end and not even caring and drinking beer naked and talking about how much sex they'd had. And um, I remember talking to my dad about it and, you know, he said, well, you know, there's a, there's a couple of ways you can go. Because it's really hard in that, that situation too. Because as a young as a young guy, you you can't say, "Oh, guys, I really don't like it." You you probably could, but you'd probably be immediately put on the outer. Hmm. Um, so there needs to be someone in, in positions of power to be able to do that. And as I said, my my dad sort of said to me, "Well, there's a couple of ways you can go. You're going to struggle to change attitudes and behaviours at 14 and 15 years of age of those older guys. So, but you can." change the way you think about that and you can either go with those guys or you know bring your own attitudes and behaviors and move against it and then when you have a position of power which i kind of do now as a professor Mm -hmm. um that's when you're trying you're trying to have those those changes and so forth and as you get older within that club too you could probably talk to that the coach more and you know and those sorts yeah. of things. It's really really hard in in that in those situations for young males. 